Hey guys, what's Garage here? This is going to be a quick video to show you guys how to refill your shocks with nitrogen. As you guys know, I recently installed coilovers on my E92 M3 and I just want to make sure that the nitrogen that's in there is at the right PSI. And uh, so I called a local shop, um, Vine, and they quoted me about $250 to refill the shocks. And I figured, you know, I'm probably going to have to do this more than once uh, going forward. So I figured I'm just going to Find out how to do it myself so i looked online and i saw there's a company called power tank that sells a whole kit that's really nice uh, that goes about for about i think around 500 dollars but you can build your own kit so what i did was i purchased this tank on amazon it was about 100 bucks and then i got it filled for around 40 dollars uh, which i think that price is a little high because the local shop i go to is beverage grade but if you go to an air gas I think it'll probably cost you like $20 to get it filled uh, and I bought this gas regulator on Amazon for about $30 and this no air loss chuck with a gauge I got this on eBay for around $60 uh, so all in including tax is about $250 oh and I also forgot you'll also need a tire chuck and it's a quarter inch NPT which is incorrect. What you actually need is quarter inch flare so that this hose right here will fit directly to it. Um, your hose might be different, but anyways, I didn't know, so I ended up having to go out to the hardware shop to get an adapter. I think they do sell tire chucks with the quarter inch flare end, but those seem very uncommon. But anyways, I got an adapter right here, as you can see. And actually, you can do without this tire chuck right here and in fact you can do without this piece right here as well um, if you choose to do that you'll save some money uh, not having to purchase this what you would do is just get a no air loss chuck which is this piece right here and attach it directly to the end of this hose right here I just chose to go with this method because I prefer to have a gauge to be able to check the pressure on my shocks all right, so now that I got everything hooked up, the regulator is attached to the tank right here. Hose is attached tightly here with the air chuck on the other end right here. How the regulator works is <clears throat> you wanna make sure this thing is completely closed. Closed means the valve is spun out counterclockwise all the way. And then once you ensure this regulator is closed, you can then open the tank valve and as you open it okay so the valve on the tank is open and it's sitting right at about oh, I don't know what that is 1800 PSI but you'll notice on this side it's at zero right now and that's because we have this valve closed so next what you want to do is to open this valve to open it you're going to turn it uh, clockwise and as you open this you'll notice that the PSI is going to go up and I want to set my shocks to 250 PSI which is the recommended amount so I'm just going to crank it up up to 250 a few moments later alright guys so I had some technical difficulties here it turns out this gas regulator is faulty the highest it will go up right now is about 180 PSI. If I turn it in a little bit more, it's going to start leaking. It's not supposed to do that. Um, I want it to go up to 250, but looks like I'm going to have to return this one and get a different regulator. But I don't want to re-record the entire video, so I'm just going to show you guys the next steps anyway. Um, so, as you can see here, I have my shock reservoir, which I want to fill up with nitrogen. But before you do uh, anything, you want to make sure you decompress the sh uh, shock completely, uh, meaning you'll have to lift up the car. So in this case, I've lifted up this corner right here. And then you can take this thing right here. I'm going to put the camera down. So now you can take the gauge piece with the no air loss chuck, and then you're going to want to thread the chuck onto the Schrader valve right here. And before you do that, you want to make sure this uh, chuck is in a closed position. Closed position is counterclockwise. 
So make sure it's turned counterclockwise all the way first before you thread it on. And then just make sure it's on tight. Make sure not to over tighten it. And then you can start turning clockwise on this valve right here. And that's gonna let the air flow through into the gauge. Let me show you guys. So right now it's in just right above 100 PSI. And it's extremely low because I already released a lot of the air. Um, it was actually at 230 before I did anything. And I, again, I wanted to get up to 250. So my regulator here right now is set at, a, I think it looks like it's about 180. So what I'm gonna do is just take the tire chuck side and there's a Schrader valve right here. I'm just gonna fill it up, just like you're gonna fill up your car tire. All right, so as you can see here, the shock's filled up to right about 180 PSI. And that is how you can refill your shocks with nitrogen. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Next video, I'm probably going to be mounting these reservoirs uh, as well as, as the ones in the front. So stay tuned for more. Peace.